Welcome back to a new video. Today I want to show you a feature that maybe not many of you know, uh, at least the Tesla owners. It's a really interesting feature and it's a very useful feature in my opinion. And in this video I will show you how you can go in Tesla service mode and what you can do in Tesla service mode. And also, first of all, before we go forward, if you um, are not like a professional in this area and if you don't know what are all those buttons and stuff there and settings i really recommend you to don't push anything because it's quite dangerous and i will show you a few things that are dangerous to to push and, and change there anyway let me go and let me show you so first of all uh, i think for for some of us uh, i will show you also what is the most important and what is not so important uh, to see and to change there so first of all what you have to do is just go to uh, to home I, I will say like menu and then in the menu you go to um, software once you're in software you just press model 3 or model y or model s or x depend what car you have and once you let me show you maybe it doesn't see my finger here i have to press it with this one you just have to hold it here for a few seconds and once you hold it here, you will see it will appear a screen when it say, please enter access code. The access code to go in service mode, it's service. And once you type service, you go enter and it will ask you, your kind of service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service repair station, vehicle. Are you sure you want to go in service mode? Do not enable this on public roads. And also something that I recommend you is that the car should be parked in a safe place where uh, yeah, it doesn't bother other traffic participants. Because once you enable it, you will see a red square around the screen. And also in this time, the speed limit will be limited so keep in mind that the speed limit it's super limited you cannot drive more than seven kilometer per hour or ten kilometer per hour something like that and yeah it's just for the service um, when the car is in service and then you will see the secret menu I will say so the hide it menu I don't know how, how you want to call it and here you can see the VIN you can see how many kilometers the car have you can see what kind of hardware the car have so you can see right here I have this full self-driving computer hardware that mean i have the 3.0 uh intel atom you can see also what kind of processor have and also the firmware that's running on the car right now then you can see the service alert here what kind of errors the car have in this moment then you can see the customer errors most of them um uh, yeah you can also extend them and see what was happened here cannot shift gear accelerator pedal is press release the accelerator pedal all these customer uh, errors are simple errors that uh, we as um, drivers we make and it's very simple to uh, fix it when you go to service fix those errors are only can only be fixed by the service and here you see i have already one error that says autopilot processor secondary aps has not received one or more messages from the autopilot processor primary uh, make autopilot feature unavailable so that was an error on 24 february i think that was like today uh actually and it's it's not a big deal you will see also uh that it's it's i think i already drive the car before and the autopilot was fine maybe it's it's nothing complicated anyway and then you go to all you see all the errors if you want to go back to the menu you press this service icon down here and you go back to menu then you have the service settings so you can see here the the limited speed you can also remove the speed limit in service mode I don't recommend you and also Bluetooth phone and all that stuff you can also see the service mode settings the touch screen you can also uh, test it if you buy a car you can uh, you can actually test the touch screen and you will see if it works it's the same as it works on Android phones if you want to exit this I will need my two hands uh, and you will have to go in the corner in two corners and press just like that let me show you or maybe like like this and then it will exit you know like in the same time you have to press two corners oh, come on man 
actually I'm in the corner right and now you're you're out of uh, that menu then go back to menu and then you can see here uh, software reinstall here you have break uh, burnishing I don't recommend you to go in this menu and then you have the driver assistant system here you have the cameras you can see the cameras if they are working fine and also the GPS uh, then you can see also here the sensors around the car if it's everything fine with them and where they are located Then you have here the connectivity You can see where the car is connected to the Wi-Fi to the Tesla connection and all that stuff You can see a lot of information uh, Right here the HV system here is the battery and all that Important stuff and here you can do a test of your battery if you want to find out how much uh, degradation your battery has and how many percent you still have from the new battery for example state of charge right now it's 75.9 uh, and if you want to test it actually you will need a, a connection to the to the um, uh, electricity so you have to put the cable in and charge the car in the same time and then you go to health test and then you have to press like the stalk brake and the key for 10 seconds and you unlock this feature and then you test it and then in the end uh, you will need probably 24 hours or something like that because the car should be charged to full and then it will uh, discharge automatic and it will make a complete test but you need around 24 hours so you can do this test and in the end you will see here how many percentage uh, your battery still have and other than that you can see also different information about uh, the units and the battery then you go forward here to the battery power distribution you can see in real time what consume uh, uh, current electricity in this moment and also uh, all kind of information about the uh, HV battery now going forward uh, also here we have the home link home link you can also retrofit the home link then you go here to thermal action here is very dangerous guys I really don't recommend you to press these buttons like start thermal field drain and stuff like that because you can drain your coolant and stuff like that so i really recommend you to don't touch those things only in the service or only if you know how to do those steps you can also actually change the coolant but from what i know the coolant on the tesla the new tesla model 3 for example you never have to change it so don't touch those things here uh, you just keep it then align the tires and the things here you can see when you turn the steering wheel you can test to see if your steering wheel it's aligned and if it's green it's fine you put it right it's fine if it's uh, on the side which it's kind of not fine but right now I didn't park it straight with uh, tires and that way it shows you like that but from here you can also calibrate the steering column and reset different uh, tire values and stuff like that then if we go forward to the windows you can actually calibrate your windows from here if you know how to do that you can calibrate your windows enable rear defrosting wiper replacement so you press this button they will go up so in order so uh, in order for you to uh, change them so this is the service mode if you want to go out you just press this exit mode for a few seconds and right now you're good to go in the normal menu so this is how simple it is to go in service mode uh, in the same time it's simple but also complicated i don't really recommend you to go in these settings if you don't know what to do also if you want to test the battery i think it's it's a, a complex process and i don't know uh, maybe if you really need to do that uh, you have you can do it but also park the, the car in a, in a safe place uh, and be able to charge it and to have a cable with you anyway I hope the video was useful if it was useful uh, please like share subscribe thank you very much for watching